Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to apply for skill assessment to get registered as a pharmacist in Australia without any help from an agency. So you can do it by yourself. Click the link which I have given below the description box. It's going to direct you towards the website. So here you can see the candidate portal. Select new candidates. Then you have to create an account. So fill the details. Make sure whatever you enter is similar to your identity documents like your passport, birth certificate. There should be no any difference, especially in case of names. So fill in all that, all the rows which uh, has a red star, which means it is mandatory to fill that. So fill in your first name, last name, your email address should be active because they're going to send a confirmation mail. Fill in your gender, fill in your date of birth and click submit. After clicking submit, check your um, account. So you will get a email from the website. It is an APC assessment. So welcome to APC candidate portal. So click that. They will give your username, your password, everything. So you have to use that username and password to sign in into your candidate portal. So let's see how to do that. Okay. So you have reach the website so i'm signing in with my email address and i'm putting the password so if you're not able to sign in with the password which they have given you can click forget password and they will send a verification code into your email address so using that code you can verify your email address and then you can change the password so in this case i got my password it was like expired so i had to create a new password so you can do that so after signing in with the email address you're going to receive a candidate reference number make sure you note this number somewhere because this is very important after that now there is a lot of forms for filling so first thing is candidate details as i said whatever you fill make sure it is accurate to your documents so fill those information after that you can see in your dashboard uh, I have clicked I want my overseas pharmacy qualification recognized in Australia so when you click that they will take you directly to a page where you have to fill the details whether you have a general registration in Australia so you can click uh, from which country you have taken the registration so do you have a pharmacy degree awarded to you by an accredited education provider in India so you can say yes so just fill in the questions what they're asking so if you're from US or UK Canada Ireland you have a different examination so that's different so this is for Indians okay so now you're going to apply for an eligibility assessment check so they have given all the instructions very very clearly so here i'm clicking start your eligibility eligibility check application make sure you have all your documents with you especially you should have a passport so yes click do you have a passport yes so in this uh, left side you can see a lot of details like personal details other name contact details third party agency or agent third party details tertiary education registration so all these things should be filled which is not that difficult because the questions are very clear you can fill it by yourself so in personal details you're asking your first name last name passport number passport issue date expiry country of issue so all these things should be filled then comes if you're having any a name change or any other names you can fill those details so since you're doing it by yourself you can click no if for the questions they have asked that do you use any agent or third party you can say no and proceed to the next so without filling each they're not allowing to see the next pages so i'm just filling randomly something so country of qualification name of institution name of qualification all these things should be filled so like when you click the country of qualification you can see the institution name they're giving you a list of institutions so i have randomly clicked something 
some institution name and then you can also select the course which you have studied so if your farm tech graduates you can fill six under the number of years to complete the qualification if you're BFARM you can uh, write four then number of uh, semesters then they're asking number of weeks so fill it accordingly then they're asking about your clinical experience you can do that so automatically whatever you have selected will appear here then we will move on to the registration so they're asking if you're registered then you can click yes then they're asking about the details of registration whether it is suspended or whether there is uh, any rejection so all that can be filled as no then there is you have to add the details of registration the country the name of the registration the date the start date the end date so all all the dates should be accurate coming to the main important thing is document upload so in document upload you have to have all your documents with you you have to scan and upload you need the copy of your registration in the under the council you need your degree certificate you need your academic transcript you need your passport so make sure you scan them and then upload to the website under the upload required document you can see what are the things you need you will be required to provide us with an original scan of your original current valid passport so it, even they have shown the format whether it can be a pdf or image it should be scanned in color they are also telling about the resolution so check all those details so after uploading your documents you have a declaration you have to click that then it comes the payment so after that you can see look uh, your application status will be at it will take around 89 days to complete and if you're submitting the wrong documents it will take more time for the process so make sure whatever you're uh, submitting should be accurate so after this application process you can apply for CAPS exam you will get a skill assessment letter to write this exam or apply for it so that's all guys this is very easy I think most of the foreign skill assessment or the document application can be done by yourself because everything is clear the instructions are clear so I hope this video was informative for everyone so please give me a like and share it with your friends thanks for watching have a nice day ahead